Okay, so we're just going to take a quick look at the Spotify for Xbox One app. Um, as you'd expect, um, it's very similar to the Android TV and PlayStation 4 apps, the same sort of uh, UI and interface. Uh, when you first start it up, which obviously isn't right now, uh, but you do get a di dialogue box at the beginning and it asks you to connect and log in via various ways. And the easiest way is literally just to open up your Spotify app on your phone and um, select the Spotify connect menu and then it'll just automatically log you in on the Xbox. And that also does mean, as it's Spotify Connect, um, you'll be able to uh, control the playback from your phone. Um, so when you first start it up, you get these sort of um, different playlists um, that are curated gaming playlists that Spotify suggests. Um, kind of interesting, I guess. You can pan across um, and get to different genres and moods, new releases, all the sort of stuff you'd kind of expect from Spotify, really. Um, you can also go up the top and tab over to your playlist. Um, so if I play some stuff from my Discover Weekly, uh, you can drop down to the bottom and it allow you to then uh, control the playback and move on to the next song. Um, you can even uh, shuffle songs, uh, repeat them or add them to your music, all that sort of stuff. Um, pretty basic app though. Um, I guess the, the sort of thing that everyone's really excited about is the ability to play it in the background. So if you're playing a game, you'll be able to access the controls here so you'll be able to carry on playing the music, um, change the volume, skip tracks, all that sort of stuff. Um, that's kind of useful if you're, if you're gaming and you want to listen to some tunes. So. But other than that, it's a really simple app. Um, it should be on the Xbox Store really soon.